Welcome to Mocha State of Mind. I'm your host, Danny D. Girl, and I have the legendary Smoke Cappuccino with me today. How are you, Chino? I'm doing all right. <laughs> How are you as a free man? I um, mean, I ain't, I ain't get a chance to really experience the real freedom yet because I'm still in the halfway house, but for the most part, I'm glad to be out of prison. You know what I mean? Okay. That's good. That's the answer I want to hear. So you are glad, and we're glad to hear have you here. You've been a sought-after guest for a while now. I hope you live up to your name. Are you ready for the smoke? <laughs> <laughs> I was born ready for that. You know, come on. I know that's right. Well, let's get into it. So Smoke Camchino, are you born and raised in Detroit? Yeah. I'm born and raised in Detroit East Side. Okay. Okay, let's get your origin. Because I heard you are a West Sider too. Is that true? Yeah, I'll be on the West Side, but I'm I'm East Side for life. I'm East Side to the bone. Here. I like the I got love for the West Side. I hang okay. on the West Side, but I'm East Side. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Cause I heard a lot of people was claiming you on the West Side, like, no, he from Joy Row, he from where we from. Uh, I'm, I'm like, wait, I I'm think Chino is Alabama. from the East Side. Let's clear that up. Uh well, I guess a lot of people say that. Let's clear that mother, up. My mother used to live on uh Joy Road away. Okay. You know what I mean? I used to be able to live with her for a while, but I'm from Seven Mile Albion. Seven Mile Orion Albion, the Hoover area. Like where Osborne High School is, that's where I'm from. I'm from the same hood as my father. Okay, so you Okay, so your dad is from the east and your mother is from the west? No, my mother's from the east. My mother's from Beirut. She just lived on Joy Road. Okay. You see what I'm saying? My mother from Beirut, oh. like Seven Mile of Coventry. I don't know if you're familiar with the area by John R. I am. You know I'm a West Sider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the West Side people claim you. You told you're an East Sider for life, huh? Yeah, I'm from the East Side. Okay. I got okay, love for the West Side. Cool. Though. I, I want to get into you. We love you too. I want to get into your parents though, because okay. since you brought them up. Um, your upbringing. So your parents, uh, were they together, separate? What was your household? What's your household? Yeah, they they were separate. They separated when I was like two or three. So I grew up like back and forth like okay. with my mother and my father. My father was always in my life though. I'm a daddy's boy. Wow. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Because you rarely hear that. Yeah. A daddy's boy, you rarely hear that. Why you not a mama's boy? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just I, I'm just a daddy's boy. I love my mother, but I'm just a daddy's boy. You know what I mean? My father. That's why I'm a leader, okay. like I am. My father taught me how to lead. You know what I mean? He taught me a lot of things. You know what I mean? Okay, that and that's so change. important. Right, that's so important, and I'm glad we're talking about that right now because we always hear rappers didn't have fathers growing up, but it, in the case of you, you did have a father growing up, and Absolutely. Seemed like you cling more to him, you yeah. know? Yeah. What would you say some of the advice your father gave you that still with you today? The, the main thing he gave me that I, that I that's still with me today is don't be a follower, be a leader. That stuck with me since I was about six years old. He first told me that. You know what I mean? Don't be a follower, do your own thing. You know what I mean? And it seems like you walked in those shoes because it seems like you've been the leader of everything <laughs> thus far, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no question. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about, you brought up Osborne. Did you attend Osborne on the east side or did you attend west side schools? I went to Osborne. I went to Redford too, though, but I went to Osborne. Okay, so you went to Redford? Mm -hmm. Wow. You a West Sider, <laughs> you know you. <laughs> no, but That's I, I, so I, West I, Side. I, I, I used to skip school, so I never really went. Like I have to roll in Redford, but I go to Osborne and just go in Osborne and do gang shit. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So like my but mother, my Osborne mother. is really. You said what? Uh -huh. I said Osborne is really East Side too. Osborne High School. That's like the it's either Osborne or Persian, mm -hmm. and you stamped. Mm -hmm. Yep. So well, we can't you, forget about Denby So you say you though. never went to school? Even though that's like deeper. Right, deep. you can't forget about Denby or Fanny. Yeah, you know what I mean? Can't forget about they legendary, but Osborne <laughs> and Persian, no rivalries. Yeah, no you, know, yeah, you know how it yeah. goes. Absolutely, yeah. 
Yep, you know how it goes. Yep. yep, yep. You know how it goes. It can get real serious between yeah, them yeah, two yeah. games. It Absolutely. can get real serious. Hell yeah. Did you notice they making King and Cass that now? No, I ain't noticed that. I ain't noticed that. Yeah. The the, the rivalries, you know, they're yeah. rivalries now. But um, so you said you went to Osborne, but you never really went to school. Yeah, I ain't never go Why to school. Why was that? I ain't finna sit here. A lot of I just didn't like school. You know what I mean? Like, I'm too okay. impatient to be sitting in the classroom. You know what I mean? I was I sold drugs at a young age. You know what I mean? I needed to make some money. I ain't want to sit in no classroom listening to no teacher. That's just how I felt back then. But if I could take it back, I would have went to school. You know what I mean? Okay. But I because go ahead. I'm listening to you. Yeah, and, and it's like uh, my school right there in my hood. You know what I mean? So. I was right there. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to go nowhere. I step out of the side of school. I'm right there in my hood. So would you say school was a distraction for you? No, I wouldn't say school was a distraction. I would say gang, gang, like being in the gang was a distraction for me. For me take, it took me away from school. It took me away from a lot of things. My, 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 my real dream was basketball. You know, I was a hell of a basketball player. But, you know, being in the streets. Yeah, smoking, I was about you know to get into that. So you were this basketball player, and I heard a lot of people was raving about you. So what happened with that? What, the basketball? Yeah. Yes. Well, I started smoking weed and doing dumb shit, you know what I mean? Getting into a lot, getting into more gang shit, you know what I mean? And I just said, fuck it, I stopped doing it. But I actually got into a fight one day, and I pushed three of my knuckles back. And when I pushed three of my knuckles back, it oh, messed wow. up my jump shot, you know what I mean? To this day, I, I don't have that jump shot anymore. You know, what I, mean? I used to really be able to shoot the ball. Can't shoot no more. Wow. So I pushed back three of your knuckles. And then from there, you just, what? You didn't want to be like anything with basketball after that? It was just like, yeah, no. Yeah, I was done. See, what had happened was, after I pushed my knuckles back, listen, let me tell you something. I, I, I pushed my knuckles back. I got into a fight with some Van Dyke. Mm -hmm. I got into a fight with some Van Dyke niggas. Okay. They jumped me. And when they jumped me, I still had my hand wrapped up. You know, so I ended up fighting with my hand wrapped okay. up and I didn't let my knuckles heal properly. So it messed me up even more, you know what I mean? Okay, I got you now. So you had this basketball dream. Yeah. And you also referenced that you sold drugs at a young age. So what do you think was your time frame when you got into the streets heavy? All the way, jumped all the way out there. I say about, I was already in the streets when I was like 11, 12, but it wasn't like no real gang shit. So I say about 14. When I turned about 14, that's when I really jumped like out there. You know what I mean? Because I was always out there. Oh, 14. So, so, so where was your parents at now? Where is uh, dad? Where is mom at at 14? My father, he, my father was in and out of like county jail. My mother, she was living on 8 Mile, like from Rocaine Hood, and on like 8 Mile of San Juan. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? She's living on eight months. Okay. Line. That's how we, that's really how I, I know a lot of them already because my brother was already over there on eight miles. So he knew a lot of them before I did. See what I'm saying? So that's where my eight mile connection comes yeah. from. Okay. Now, now the story is making sense. The road can connection. Everything is coming together now. Yeah. So you was in that, on that side of town because your mother, like she moved to eight mile at this time when you're about 14. Right. So when you're 14, you first jumped off the porch. Are you on Albion then? Or yeah. are you on 8 Mile? No, I'm on Albion. Flanking. Where are you? Albion. Okay. Now, it was a house on Albion that I heard. Did this house get shot up five times in one day? Yeah, it did. It did. To be, to be more Why? Accurate, and who did? I would say, yes. I would say it, it was about, I'm going to be accurate, probably like two hours. Two or three times, you know what I mean? I probably over exaggerate when I said five, but it was about two or three times in one night. Okay. Because but that's I, a lot still. I'm gonna tell you what happened. My man, long story short, my man took a dude to the west side. He beat him and robbed him for some for some Roxy's and left him naked, you know what I mean? But we didn't we was we we didn't know about this at this time. We never knew what happened. And you know, the dude, he can't come okay. back over there spinning. We wonder what's going on the whole time. He didn't did this to the, to this dude. But the dude that he that did it to him is my best friend's brother. See what I'm saying? He's not really one of us, but he's my best friend brother. You know what I mean? Right. But the dude that was doing it, he ended up getting so killed. So he come back. Oh, wow. Yeah, he ended up getting killed. 
So he ended up coming back about two, three times in one night, just one constantly. Night. Was it like one or two shots, or is he ranging them off? No, he's man, he's 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 letting it rain. He's raining on that motherfucker. You hear me? <laughs> he's raining on that motherfucker. Like he letting the whole so go. after you know the me? so uh, wait after the first time he gets shot up, y'all go back to the house. No, I wasn't. I wasn't in the house. See, on okay on A block on Albion on A block, we got several houses. Yeah. So he's down here on the first block. Okay. We on the second block. We got two traps back to back. We can see down there. So when we looking down there, we see him sparking the house. Okay. And we see the spark flame coming off the gun. So we run down there the first time. What the fuck going on? And he acting all dumb, you know, he ain't right. telling us what's going on. So we like, shit, we stayed over there for a minute, you know what I mean? Then we spent and went back to the house. About a couple hours later, he came back. You see what I'm saying? Then he came back again. And then he, he started popping up. We started seeing him, you know what I mean? And he, he'll ride past mugging us, you know what I mean? So you know how that go, you know what I mean? This nigga, this nigga was in the way. Feel me? All right. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy in itself, but it, it's funny, but it it's actually serious though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Looking yeah. back now. Absolutely. Yeah. I know you look back on a lot of things like this was a wild way to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I got the autobiography because it's, it's, it's a hell of a story. You know what I mean? It's a hell of a story. You know what I mean? It's definitely a story because that story in itself was talked about a lot. Like they always got shot up like five times <laughs> on the block, you know, and everybody was... Everybody was there. They equate smoke camp to that. Like, guys used to come and just shoot their house up three, four times. They never left the block. They still stayed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We ain't running. So that know. wasn't enough to get you... Yeah, that wasn't enough to get you off the streets? No, hell or no. Or make you that, change your life? To you. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I was, I, was, I was young and wild, and I didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I ain't give a fuck. I'm, I got I got shot at a lot of times. Too many times to count. You know what I mean? I've been in shootouts. I, I got shot at, you know what I mean? Too many times to count. It was just like a normal lifestyle to me. I was like immune to that shit. You know, that's that's I'm used to that. Right. Unfortunately, you know, that happened, but fortunately you're still here with us today. Thank God. That's a good thing. Yeah. Mm hmm Thank God. Yeah. And I wanna get into when did smoke camp start when did that start because you was hustling first yeah. then you had the basketball dream and then all of a sudden and you were known before you started rapping a lot yeah, of people absolutely. already knew yeah. you but you know before smoke camp it was opb which is original paid bosses that's okay started, yeah 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 it was yeah. paid bosses yeah that yep. started in 2005 when me and, me and dollar started that and it's in his mama basement in 2005 Yep, yep, Dollar. Yeah, Dollar got the tattoo. The pad yeah, I do too. Is the I do too. I got it across my yeah. chest too. It's only it's only three people who actually got that tattoo across their chest. Me, him, and our homie C. Okay, so all three of y'all started that group together. You no, would me say and, me, and, me and Dollar started it together. You know what I mean? But you know we was already okay, all you running and Dollar together. Started together. So everybody else just fell in, fell in line. You know what I mean? Because we was already you know what I mean. We hung together every day. Okay, so. So it's you and Dollar in Mary's basement, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mary basement. Mary basement, yeah. <laughs> you know so. Okay. Yeah, in Mary basement. Shout out to Mary. You know yeah, I know so. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Mary. Okay, so you guys started the pay bosses, and then when do we go to smoke camp, and what was the origin to that? 2012, smoke got killed. You know what I mean? And that's when we started Smoke Camp. Smoke, oh. is, his name is really Smoke. Like, his name is Leso Smoke Spivey. You know what I mean? He got killed in 2012 in Pontiac. Okay. And that's where Smoke Camp came from. And actually, okay. I didn't I, I didn't make the Smoke Camp name up. My brother made the Smoke Camp name up. I was saying Smoke E&T. My brother made a Smoke Camp. My brother named Luch. He made the, he made the Smoke Camp name up. Okay. Okay, so are you one of the founding members? I am the founding member. Hear me? I can't hear you that good. Speak up a little bit. Can you hear me bit, now? Because it's just me and you now. I guess stay off. Yeah, I said I said I am the founding member. You know what I mean? Like, without okay. me, it don't exist. Okay. So you one of the founding members of Smoke Camp. So, being that the rap star, so 2012, when do you say you start to, like, get a buzz or start taking it serious? 2015. 2015. 
In 12, 2015. Yeah, in 12, I was just rapping on some hood shit. Like, I would rap it. We just put it out in the hood. You know, we played around the hood and shit. You know what I mean? I always knew I could rap, but, you know, I wasn't really focused on that shit. I was on some dumb shit, for real. Yeah. Still on some okay, so shit. when did you see, like, oh, I'm Smoke Camp Chino for real? Was it the <laughs> fans? Like, what woke you up? Like, Chief Keith. Chief Keith woke me up. Uh, you know what okay, I mean? and how did the meeting come between you and Chief Keith? How he wake you up? Because one day, I was telling him, like, man, I ain't really... I don't really care about rapping no more. I'm gonna stop rapping. You know what I mean? He's like, man, no, man, you you the one. He tells me like, man, you the one. And you gotta think about it. All I rap about is killing shit. You know what I mean? I rap about little drug dealing, little, but I rap about killing more than anything. And this nigga is like the pioneer to that shit. You know what I mean? So if this nigga telling me that, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to keep going. You know what I mean? So he helped me that day. He don't even know how much he helped me that day because I was finna stop. Wow, you was going to stop, and you had the city on fire. You had the east side on fire. You was, I want to say, Team East Side had a wave, but Smoke Camp wave was, like, more young. It was more wild. It was almost, it gives me, like, that Waka Flocka wave, like, where everybody was just turned up and yeah. taking their dreads and <laughs> popping out with the tattoos and the guns, like... Y'all was wild, like yeah, different. Yeah, it was yeah. like first drill rap in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I want to take that from Dex. I feel like, no, because I feel like Dex too. Dex, because me and Dex came out around the same time, you know what I mean? And we actually was going to do a song. Okay. But, you know, he ended up getting killed. I, was, I, I can't take nothing from Dex. I, I like to put Dex in there too, you know what I mean? And I would say, yeah. Like to put Dex in there and that yeah, drill rap. Yeah, I like to put rap. Dex in there, yeah. I like to put Dex in there. Because Dex was coming, you know what I mean? But it's just that I was more, we, I don't know. We just, there, it's different, it's different style, you know what I mean? It's a different, we bring a different vibe, you know what I mean? I Two feel like vibes. Dex was solo, but you guys had a movement. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a movement. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that's that. why the impact was, the impact was a lot different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. you guys. But... R.I.P. to Dex Osama, yeah. you know. Yeah, ain't no question. That was an unfortunate situation. So you said you guys were going to do a song? Yeah, yeah. Cause you know we did the Five O movie with the little shootout, and that's where I met him. At. I met him actually when yeah. I met him. He got killed in the same thing I met him in. Matter of fact, the same I met him. Yeah, I met him. Yeah, he got killed in the same thing he, I met him in. He pulled over his AR his AR pistol with his his, 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 his Glock, talking shit. You know he was young. He was real yeah. young. Yeah, yeah. So did y'all get along good when y'all first met each other? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got along. We got along. So he knew who you were, you knew who he was. Mm -hmm. Was it that kind of yeah. meeting? Because, you know, they used to do the okay. little, the, 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 the freshman list for Detroit. I don't know if you were aware of yep. that. Yeah, me and him, I think it was me, I want to say me, him, and Rokane made it that same year. I still got the, uh, the little articles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And I also want to talk about explain this to me. The La, you gotta probably pronounce it. I may say it wrong. The Plaga. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it right. Yeah, the Plaga. The Plaga is located over. What was y'all doing at the Plaga? <laughs> Man, the Plaga was everything. You know what I mean? Nigga selling drugs, guns, girls coming over. You know what I mean? Nigga, all all type of anything you can think of that got to do with the streets is going on at the Plaga. You know what I mean? And the, and the plaga is not mine. What exactly? The plaga is not mine. Say it again. I said, what exactly is the plaga? What is it? It's an apartment complex located on Seven Mile in between Algonac and uh, Grubiner and Langholm. You know what that's at? Right, right before yep. Out of Drive, like two blocks, two blocks before Out of Drive, Seven Mile to the left. It's an apartment building, like a little, a little, a small apartment complex. Was it abandoned at the time when y'all was in there or no? No, no, no. We paying rent. Paying rent at that, at that place. It wasn't abandoned. So it was residents living there and y'all was wilding. Yeah, yeah. We actually caught, well, Brono caught, a, I ain't going to say his name, but Brono caught one of the rap niggas in the alley and had him crying for his life. You know what I mean? For real. Uh, so somebody that people really think like that. You know what I mean? But I ain't going to say his name because I don't want to expose him. But yeah, Brono caught a rap nigga in the alley. Okay. You know what I mean? Had him crying, called him his gang, saying his gang was my hoes. And it's somebody that's really like, <laughs> wanted to, he wanted to, you know what I mean? He, he wanted to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I heard so many stories about the Plaga. Like, that's really where you guys were, you know, where y'all started a lot of things. It shot a lot of music videos there. Yep, yeah, we did. Shot a lot of music videos. Uh, uh, Gang or No Gang was shot there. Gang Gang was shot there. Uh, mm -hmm. The song The Plaga was shot there. Uh, I did I did a little clip there on the Walk a Mile interview. You know what I mean? We had a lot of shit going on. The There's a lot of videos. The tool shot there. There was a lot of videos shot there. Stone Hard even shot a video. It was there. a lot of videos. Also, I want to talk about um, what do you think caused the indictment? Being really being active. You know what I mean? Because look, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. My my young, well, I'm, they my young niggas, but they really my little brother circle. They caused the indictment. You know what I mean? Then my, you know what I mean? They the reason why because they was running wild. You know what I mean? They shooting shit up. They mm -hmm. they they just on some bullshit. You know what I mean? And I'm really at the, at this time now. I'm focused on rap because I know that rap is the, our way out. But they still in the streets and they doing what they doing. You know what I mean? That's what brought the heat on us. Because a motherfucker can say anything at any time. You know what I mean? But when them feds looking to you and they be like, oh no, these motherfuckers gotta go. They they live like this for real. Like get them off the streets. They're proud. You know what I mean? And I went to this. Uh, they they sent me to yeah, the, cause this, it. So go ahead, say it. You about to say? No, I'm listening to you. Uh, they sent me to this program called Cease Fire. You know what I mean? And I, I had to go because I was on probation. Mm -hmm. The whole time I was, had, I had a buzz. I was on probation. There's a lot of shit I couldn't do, so I had to go. You know what I mean? If I don't go, I get violated. So I go and they pull up this big ass projector. And they got all these gangs on there. You know what I mean? And they said they tell us like if, if any of one of y'all shoot one more shot, we indicting everybody. Everybody get here with Rico. We hit your mama with Rico. And they was dead serious. They had Homeland Security. Everybody was there, ATF, everybody was at this place. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn, these motherfuckers ain't playing. I'm telling bro no, but you know, bro don't want to try to listen. They was just on what they was on. You know what I mean? Then our, our homie ended up getting killed. So it, it made shit even worse, you know what I mean? We ain't never had nobody get killed. Like, you know, Smoke got killed, but that was on some other shit in Pontiac. We ain't never had nobody get killed on A Block, you know what I mean? Like, my homie got killed on A Block, inside the right. house. Feel me? Yeah, he got killed inside the house, yo. Oh, wow. So when you go and you see this projector, they said we even Rico your mama? Yeah, they weren't playing. They said we hit your mama with a Rico. Y'all next one of y'all let off one shot, everybody get hit with a Rico. They had everybody on there, man. I'm talking about everybody. Yeah, everybody. Every gang you could think of in the city, but except Doughboy's Cash Out. I said this before in the in the, in the uh, mm -hmm. couple years ago. You know what I mean? Probably like five, six years ago I said this. Wow. So the Rico eventually comes. Yeah. Are you shocked when the Rico come? No, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know it was gonna be a Rico. I, I, I knew the feds was coming though. I just knew. I felt them. I knew it. You know what I mean? Because of that. Not only. Not only because of that uh, ceasefire thing. It's just that it was too much going on. We had way too much shit going on, man. Too much. You know what I mean? Too much. Entirely. When you too say much. you felt it, was it like spiritually felt or mentally? I would say both. Both. I had just got the. I had now I got, got a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. I had just got the house in Canton. And, and you know, for all my life, every time something going too well, some, something bad happened. And that's why I felt it. That's, that's one of the main reasons I felt like something about to happen. I just didn't know what. Some told me to get the guns out of the house, I didn't do it, and I got caught with them. You know what I mean? Oh, so those were your charges. So you got hit with the RICO plus the gun charges, yeah, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nine, this, this, this is the code for it. 1962D and a 922G. Them are the codes for it. That's a federal code for the offenses I had. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, because I remember seeing the news flashing. Yeah. I remember it bright and early. <laughs> yeah, the news yeah, they came flashing. Early. And I remember seeing the house like, wait a minute, that Chino was living like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? Hey, look, it's like, I'm just playing, but I'm looking like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was big. Yeah, yeah, it was a nice house. It was crazy to see. Yeah. So, y'all all get hit at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Feds run down on everybody and snatch everybody at the same time. Yeah, except two people. My, 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 so one, there of my was... two people. one of my relatives... And one of my uh and my my brother, mm -hmm. my little brother, he's still locked up though. One of my relatives, my little brother, the only okay. two they didn't catch right then and there. Okay. So it was just two people. Yeah. So when they catch you guys, did they run up in your house? Or they was it like to, she was so crazy they didn't even have to run in my house. Cause my stepfather was he leaving out the door. So he left out the door and they seen him leave out the door. They stretched him, got him on the ground, and then they just come right in. That's mm -hmm. what fucked me up. 
I had to make a decision fast. It's either stash the money or stash the gun. I stashed the money and gave him the gun. Okay, so See, if they would have had to knock, I would have stashed you? everything. See, if they would have had to knock, I would have I would never got caught with nothing. Right. See what I'm saying? So Right, so where are you? Are you in the bedroom, the living room? Where are you at this point? I'm in point? the bed, naked. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I was in the bed, naked. What? <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit, I was naked. You, you know on chill. Yeah, I was chilling. I, I really, I was up for like a little bit and I was just gonna go back to sleep, you know what I mean? And then something just told me like, man, what the fuck is that? I, was, I went and looked and it was dumb. But I, I thought it was like local PD, like trying to hit the house thing like, oh, this is a drug dealer, he gotta go. You know what I mean? Cause I lived in a cul-de-sac. You know, my, ne my neighbors was fucking liquor store owners, you know what I mean? So they probably think like I'm thinking right. like they they thinking I'm a drug dealer. They probably about to hit the house. Whole time it's the fucking ATF. <clears throat> Feel me? Right. So you in the bed, right? Let's go back. You're in the bed. You're in your bedroom. You're in the bed. Yeah. While you're there, they come in. So eventually they either make their way to your bedroom. So yeah. once you see it. It's the feds and not ATF. What is your first thought? And also, who's in the house with you? Are you there by yourself? No, uh, my kids was there. My ex was there. Uh, my mother was there. You know what I mean? It, it was, and and my, a couple of my sisters was there. So, you know, they was down there, like, really. It took them a minute huh. to get up there to me because they was down there, like, on them. They got choppers out. I'm like, so I'm like, why y'all well, got that out, man? I gave y'all the guns. Like, I ain't on nothing. You know what I mean? Like, put that up. They, yeah, they ain't never seen no shit like this. Y'all tripping. You know what I mean? Right. Traumatized my kids, man. Wow. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that. Yes, it definitely traumatizes the kids, the family, probably your mother, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah she ain't never been through no shit like that. So, do are you the only one that get arrested or everyone goes? In the house? Yes. No, just me. Just me. I'm the only one okay, that got arrested. Okay, so they the only take you. Yeah. Okay, so now... You're in the van? Yeah, I'm in the van. I hear all of y'all was in the same van. Yeah, we was all in the same van, yeah. But I, I was the first one in the van. They took me to the, to this place downtown that I never knew fucking exist, and we sitting in the, in the van, and that's thing you know, I just see like white and blues pulling up, and each one of my childhood friends and my family coming off the motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Getting in the van with me. And niggas, niggas arguing, trying to say, right. oh, it's because of this, it's because of that, you know what I mean? Niggas is, you know what I mean? That shit was wild. Then they recording the van conversation. So if you hear the recording, man, that shit sounds wild to the motherfuckers, man. The motherfuckers, they was tripping. You know what I mean? Niggas finna yeah, fight. Yeah, so everybody tweaking out, basically. Yeah, 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 yo. Yeah. Trying to figure out why they all in this van. Yeah. And then on top of that, at this time, we like, we, we we really, like, slick beefing with my family. Like, one of my, my relatives, we beefing with him. You know what I'm talking about? We beefing with him. He actually mm -hmm. number one on our case. We beefing with him. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna go too much in, into it, but we beefing with him. And it was like, it was getting serious. You know what I mean? Okay, so y'all was beefing with him at the time of the Rico? Yeah. Yeah. Was he in the van with y'all? Yeah, he was in the van with us. He was in the van with us. Yeah, he was in the van So how us. many people you think was in the van that got hit? If you uh, can give a number or how many people 11. was on that case? It, it was like 11 of us in the van. It was 11 of, 11 of us in the van. Okay. So 11 people on the Rico. Yeah. I wanted to ask you a question. Oh, you're talking about on the, so on the whole... So there was an indictment. Uh-huh. The whole indictment was about... Was on the whole case. Them. You can finish. It was 14 of us on the whole, on the whole okay, case. Okay, it was 14. Yeah. Right. Right. So 11, 11 was in the van because the other two was like... Yeah, Not listen, the other two at that time, the right? other two was still on the run. And then one of them was in Kentucky. He got locked up. He got caught with, he got caught with like 500 grams of Kentucky. So he was already locked up, but he was on the indictment. You see what I'm saying? And then, matter of fact, hold on, I take that back. I take that back. Okay, two of them was in the state. They was in state prison already serving a, a, a state sentence, which is, that's Tone and Poop. And then you got, you got Santana. He got caught with like 500 grams of Kentucky. Then you got my brother DB and you got my relative Los. Don't, they weren't in there. So everybody else was in the van except them. See what I'm saying? Right. So I wanted to go back to, there was another indictment. Maybe, I want to say 2003, it was the Joy Boys. And there was a leader, his name is Trail, um, of that indictment. They had got hit with the Rico. Mm -hmm. He told me that he knew that something was coming down, but he really kind of didn't know. He said that they had helicopters on Joy Road following them. 
Did you guys notice anybody following y'all phone tags? I know somebody. <laughs> that's funny you saying that because somebody it was a, it was a suspicious ass car sitting on my block every day. It was it was a car because you know where I'm from. Like I told you, I lived in a cul-de-sac, so I know everybody who over here. I pay attention to everything. And it was just one car. They used to be on my block every day. I just wonder, like, what the fuck is that car doing? I'm annoyed. I be paranoid. You know what I mean? I'm over there. I'm in the house. I'm clutching. I got this big window. Like, what the fuck is that in that car? I'm thinking niggas on me. You know what I mean? That's why I got all them guns out. Cause I'm thinking niggas on me. I be paranoid. You know what I mean? Whole time is the feds. They got trackers right. on our cars. Our phones tap. Everything. Oh, so it was deep. So yeah. when you guys find out the whole case, you get to see everything. What right. is that? The PSI? Yeah. To see yeah. how they was on y'all. Yeah, the discovery. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no question. Yeah, yeah. So they had trackers. Yeah. On y'all cars. Yeah, yeah. Only, only on, only on the Phone two of us. Phone taps. Huh. Okay. Huh. Now, was it something they said to y'all that was like, "Wow, like, how did y'all notice?" <laughs> no, they didn't even say that to us. Like, I, I, for real, for real, we weren't even talking to them. We mad as hell because we know some shit like, nigga, this some bullshit. Mm -hmm. This ain't even. You know what I mean? They acting like we motherfucking John Gotti. We got the same charge as John Gotti, man. We ain't no organized crime. We low key, we beefing. You know what I mean? Niggas slick beefing with each other. You know what I'm talking about? They, people don't even know that. Like, it was low key, like, it was a lot of tension. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Now we're in 23. The year is 2023. And YSL, you see that Rico case. What do you think? Do it bring back memories? Or what are you thinking about their case? Man, man, that shit don't bring back no memories. Them boys shit way worse than ours. Them niggas fucked. Thug about to get fucked. I pray to God you make it out of the situation. But for the way things look, man, he fucked because he in a fucked the situation. I'm gonna tell you why. Because for one, his Rico was state, which means if the state, if he beat the state and they drop it, let's just say he beat the state and they drop it, the feds gonna pick it right up. Once they pick it up, you done. It's over with. See what I'm saying? Like it's it's over with. What, what you think about uh Gunner? I think Gunner out of gun. I think I I don't I don't really know his situation because I ain't never seen nothing. To, but about the nigga, I think he out of pocket though, from what I what I understand, because nigga, you how you out? You know, y'all got all these murders, man. They said like, these boys got murders, like real murder, a lot of murders on it. We ain't had that many murders, you know what I mean? The murders didn't actually come out until later on because people start talking. But we ain't had no murders like that, you know what I mean? Them boys got real M's on that shit, you know what I mean? They got a lot of murders, man. Ain't no way in hell. Mm. How you put them up under that, you know what I mean? Right. I have, and the like, reason like, why I said. I don't have, no, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Like, like my situation, like, people be acting like, people act like I did. Like, they had me for murder, or they had me for carjacking, or they had me for, they didn't have me for nothing, man. <laughs> they had me for a Rico and a gun charge, man. Rico is zero to 20. That's it. Ain't people be thinking like, oh, you got a Rico, you finna get slammed. No. If you got a Rico and you got violence with it, and you got a bad record, then you looking at a lot of time. You know what I mean? I, don't, I didn't even have a fucking record when they, I don't have no record. I don't get caught. I don't do, be running around doing that dumb ass shit getting caught. You know what I mean? I did my thing in the streets for as long as I did, and I didn't get caught. And I felt good about it. I thought I was gonna be able to like make it out the streets and <laughs> brag about that shit. You feel me? <laughs> so this was your first case then? Yeah, yeah, this is my first is case. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not my first time getting in trouble with the with the law, but it's my first case where I went where I got convicted and went to prison. You know what I mean? I, all my other cases were some white shit. That shit wasn't nothing. There wasn't no shit to it. You know what I mean? I beat that shit. <laughs> Okay, so when I said it brings back memories, I meant like in a sense of being on TV, being a rapper in the forefront, you know? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right, yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. Because they made you the face, the head leader. Exactly. You exactly. know, the whole organization, like right. you were giving it, throwing the shots, and like you said, you actually were trying to take this music serious now. And it was actually younger guys under you guys doing most of the stuff that was more wilding out. Is that yeah. correct? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Okay, so. at that time, I, I felt like I don't need, what I need to do that for? I don't need to do that. I got this rap shit going on. It's, you know what I mean? It's busting. It's lit. I'm about, to take this, I'm about to take this shit to the top. But, you know, bro, was still out there in the streets. They still on A block. They still shooting shit. They on bullshit. You know what I mean? And they only gonna listen to me when Ooh, I'm. So basically that was. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. They only go listen to me when I'm there with them. Like, I got to be hands-on with them, you know what I mean? Because they wild as shit. Any little thing, they ready to shoot some shit up, you know what I mean? Or kill a nigga, hurt a nigga, take something from a nigga. And also, before you went in, 
you were facing like 10, was it 10 years? Was that a plea deal? What was your, what was you facing at first? And what was your they, plea they, deal? They, they, at first they tried to charge, they tried to give me 12. Then they came down to 10, you know what I'm about? But I ended up getting 72 months, you know what I'm about? I don't know where why people keep on saying, you could look me up like, if when, when I was in prison, even now, you can look it up. I, I, my, shit, my release date was 2025. And that's what with the good time. But if you take the good right. time away, my release, my release date would have been 2026. But you know, Trump implemented the First Step Act in 2016. You know what I mean? And people people be acting like it don't exist. You know what I mean? Like you got you got the first step back. Okay, only way you can't get the first step back is if you got violence. Or if you a motherfucker, uh, a, a dude, a child molester, a chomo or something, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you can get first step back. See what I'm saying? Like, you, you were eligible for it. You, oh. All you gotta do is program. You know what I mean? You get a lot of time off of that. So it'll cut your time in half. And, and people who know, know. Right. People who watching this, who watching, who watching this interview gonna know. Like, yeah, he, he know what he's talking about. But you know, a lot of these dudes ain't never okay, even Okay, so fed, you do man. the program. <clears throat> Say it again. Okay, so you do the program. And you get out earlier than your expected time. Is that exactly. correct? Exactly. Yes. Yo. Because everybody was trying to say, like, Chino had to snitch to be at home right. this early. Right. You know, no. I got the first step back. You see what I'm saying? And you know what's so crazy? They they so happy yeah, to say some so shit on put shit on me. I can't wait to, for this nigga to get looked like he a ho. You know what I mean? Cause my shit flawless. Nigga, y'all niggas want me to yeah. look bad. You know what I mean? No, I, I had the first step back though. They you know want I mean? you to look so bad. Yeah, they yeah. So, they can't they throw all type of line on, shit on me, man. That shit crazy. I don't even know these niggas. You know what I mean? These niggas hate me. I don't know why. I don't know why they hate me. I ain't never did nothing to them niggas. So you want to clear up the snitching? No, that's not what you did. Is that no, what hell you're saying? no. Hell no. A, a, a nigga told a nigga like, yeah, he was on the stand. What the fuck is you talking about, man? Why you, what you lying on me for? On the stand, nigga? Hell no. Niggas, you crazy? Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, that shit would have been out. I you think know. we all would have knew if you was yeah, on the stand. Yeah, yeah, man. Come on, man. Nigga gonna know that. We all would know that. Okay, was it any snitches on your case in your Rico? Did anybody tell? Yeah, but I ain't gonna expose them. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and, I, I, and to be honest with you, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know who did it, but the day before my sentencing, my, my lawyer, I had a paid lawyer. It was only two people who had a paid lawyer, me and my cousin, the one that we want, the one that we want, I want to see eye to eye with. And well, which don't really matter in no, mm -hmm. in no state case, I mean, no fair case, you know what I mean? It's a waste of money, but. Uh, <clears throat> I had a, a paid lawyer and he bought some shit to me before my sentencing. And he showed me this paper, but their names just blanked out. It, it was it showed people telling on me, you know what I mean? But I never knew yeah. who it was. Still don't know to this day. I don't know who told them. They was telling on me, though. Told on my little brother, too. They told on everybody. A lot of people, man, I, they told me if you go to court, man, 12 people coming to testify. But it's not just the people, some people on the case. It's like people on the streets. You got cops who used to rash us since we was kids and all that shit. Knows by our first and last name and all type of shit. Then it was this lady. Bro, no shot they block up and her kids was out there. They had her coming to court to testify. It was all type of wild shit. Oh, so it was kind of like a conspiracy, would you say? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. Seemed like it. I can't even see her no Because more. before you went in, you made a you made a video. It was on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you were on there. You was like raging, like, I'm about to be gone. This rap shit is over with. Uh -huh. I'm done. I'm finished. You was like so upset and angry. You was like, ain't no more rapping no more. When I get out, I'm going to be this, this, and that. Yeah. And do you remember when I told you, I was like, I laughed at you. And I was <laughs> like, he think when he get out, rap going to be over because he probably will be 30, you know, in his 30s. What you think about the conversation now? about rappers trying to rap at 30 when most of the mainstream and big rappers made it at 30. You're absolutely right. But Looking back on that video. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Most of the mainstream rappers did make it at 30. But it, it wasn't just only that. It's just I got to deal with a bad hand in life. I've been, I've been through too much shit. I'm tired of it. You know what I mean? I'm just tired of And I re, I'm really tired of what coming with being a rapper. I don't like having fame. You know what I mean? I like the money. I don't like the fame. I don't want to be the center of attention all the time. You know what I mean? That's just me. That's just how I feel. I don't see how people like Lil Baby and Dirk and all them can handle that. I want. I don't like that. You know what I mean? I don't want that. I want to be regular. I want to be able to go in a, in a restaurant, a regular ass restaurant, and just be me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me? I don't want to. It's kind of hard to be because, like I said, even before rap, everybody knew who you were. So did you make yourself famous by being taking that advice from your father and being a leader? What if you would have just took advice and be like, I'm just gonna be a 
a follower. I'll be dead. <laughs> mm. I'd be dead or in jail following somebody, man. I'd be dead or in jail, man. Because there's a lot of niggas I know that got killed that I, I supposed to have been with. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, I got my own mind. Even my little homies, they, you know, they, they went to the feds at 18 years old. You know what I mean? Before we went to the feds, we already had two niggas that went fed at 18 years old. And, I, and they was doing some shit that I didn't agree on. And if I would have followed them, I'd be right with them. You know what I mean? If I wasn't me, I'd be with them. You know what I mean? Actually, one of them was just calling me right now. He's just calling my phone. <laughs> He in prison, you know what I mean? He called him a phone. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he was just blowing my phone up. You want to know what else I wanted to bring up? Mm -hmm. Your, was this your ex-wife or your wife? She was arrested. Didn't she go to jail too? But did she go on the RICO or was this just like a totally different case? No, this is a different case, you know. We we caught, we caught a, uh, well, before me, she caught a scamming case, you know, because me and her used to do a scamming shit. She caught a scamming case. She went to prison for that. She violated. We got, we got caught in Monroe. And we got a, uh, a scam charge, and she violated her uh, her federal probation, and she went to prison for that. She wasn't on the case, but they was trying to put her on the case. They had some shit this high on her, just her. Oh shit, this high. Wow. I couldn't so even see that the motherfucker. Happens. How long did she go away? She only did a couple. Like she did like a, a year, and some change. She ain't doing that much. Like a year, and some change, if that. Probably like eight. Months. Saying it like that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, now, now, now that I've been to prison, it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? But back in the day, back then, when I was waiting on her, hell yeah, it was something. You know what I mean? It was uh, that was a lot. <laughs> I ain't like that shit. That's how I know how. So I feel you played be. the papoose? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You that's played why I said the papoose I was just gonna get into. Yeah, I know how I feel to be in there, mm -hmm. and I know how to feel to be out in there waiting on somebody. I mean, like being with somebody in there and being with somebody on out. I know how I feel on both sides. That's why I'm telling my homies in prison, you know what I mean? What was that like? So that you waiting horrible. on your wife. What was that like? That's horrible. You know what I mean? That's that's the worst shit ever. I don't like that. You know what I mean? That shit was just like, I was I was miserable. You know what I mean? It was just like, I was always sad mm -hmm. and depressed. And then at the same time, I'm on the run. See what I'm saying? So it was all fucked up. I couldn't, mm. I couldn't drive. I didn't want to drive because I never had license for one. And then if I drive, I might get pulled over and go to jail. Now I can't provide for her. She need me and the kids need me. So I'm like, damn, I can't. I got to move right. You know what I mean? So that shit was horrible. That's like one of the worst right, times Right, so life. you left with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so you left with the kids. So what is that like? You taking phone calls? You writing? Are you visiting her? Like, no, what's going on? I was just I was just like taking phone calls and writing on core links. I ain't never really writing no hand letters. Send her, send her pictures, you know what I mean? Okay. Stuff like that, but I ain't never mm -hmm. really write no hand letters or nothing like that. And you know, like, it was, it was just, I don't know, it was a bad experience. I ain't like that. You know what I mean? I ain't, I wasn't feeling that so shit. So are the kids going to visit her? What's going on? No, no. Nobody, nobody went to visit her. You know what I mean? Nobody's I think her mother visited her one time. I couldn't visit her because I was on the run. You know, if you if you a felon, and especially right. if you're on the run, you can't visit. You know what I mean? I could have visited her maybe if I wasn't on the run. Because at the time, I was married to her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So at this time, you're a single father... Yeah. Did you have any help? No. No, I had no help. I ain't really wow. need no so help. So that was a trying time. Really no yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, mm -hmm. that, that, that was that was a hard time. That was a hard time. Probably one of the worst times of my life. And now I, that's how I understand how females feel when they waiting on their man. You know what I mean? That, that's not easy. It's more hard. It's harder for the person on the outside than it is for the inside. Because in the inside, you just do the same thing every day. Right. You know what I mean? You good, you ain't paying yeah, no bills. Yeah, because it's more controlled environment. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You ain't got to pay, you ain't got to live with the reality of life. Like, you ain't got to pay bills, none of that. You know what I mean? You and this motherfucker practically living rent-free everything. You know what I mean? She out there. Unless you were, unless a nigga gets some money, he's still paying his bills. On, you know what I mean? Other than that, though, man, that shit, it's easier on the inside than it is on the out. In my opinion. Some people may not agree, but that's how I feel. Because I experienced both of them. I definitely agree. And then when you went in, you had someone hold you down, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's my wife now. She held me down. So how was that like? Like what? What's <laughs> like getting out and you seeing her? Oh, I, that's probably the best time of my life. You know what I mean? That's the best time of my life. I love that lady. That's a good lady. That's the best. Is time she a good lady because she held you down, or she just all, a good lady? All around the board. She, she's a, she's a wonderful woman, a great woman. You know what I mean? And it's hard to come across women like that. And you know, a nigga like me, ain't no shame in my game. I'm a lover. You know what I mean? I like to be in love. You know what I mean? I ain't, you feel me? I don't want to be around no niggas. You a that. Libra. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a Libra, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. keep a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, no question. I ain't never been single. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't never been single. Ah. Uh. <laughs>
But you want to know what else um, I wanted to bring up to you about that. So um, you being in there, did you see guys that had problems like with they girls? Or do you see, because we hear these stories. I want to tell you two stories. They say in the women prisons, none of the guys go visit the women in there. That's but the male right. prison, all the women is over there. Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely right, too. That's right. You know what I mean? A lot of guys have problems with their women, though. A lot of guys get left. A lot of guys in there hurt. A lot of guys in there with nothing. A lot of guys in there that, it's guys, it's people in there that die from heartbreak. You know what I mean? Heartbreak can, make, can kill you. You know what I mean? Like, people in there fucked up for real. Like, ah. that prison fucked up. You know what I mean? And I think, and it's fucked up how they overlook it because it's really fucked up. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. It's fucked up bad. You know what I mean? But the, the, for, to answer your question, and, and agree with what you just said, the visiting rooms be packed. I'm talking about packed, packed. I mean, it's people everywhere in that motherfucker. It's so packed uh-huh. in there, it's hot. <clears throat> and they say guys don't usually hold down their girls. I want to agree with say, that. But they say the nursing home is full with, huh? I, I, I want to agree with that because, you know, I don't know too many guys that have a woman in prison. I never, I never knew nobody who had a woman in prison. I never knew nobody. That's not like no mm-hmm. common thing, you know what I mean? At least not where I'm from. Right. You know what I mean, I, I don't know. I couldn't really. I can't agree with that. I don't because I don't really see too many guys with women in prison. I mean, a woman might go to the county or some shit. You know what I mean? But not prison. You know what I mean? I knew girls. You know, I knew girls that went to prison. Women that went to prison and me and had babies on them and everything. Yeah, that's that's a nigga for you though. <laughs> they get home. They get home. He had a whole. He got a whole family now. Like right too though. Wow. I ain't doing and that. And then though. I seen the opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I seen the opposite. Guys, you know. I don't see how, to be honest with you, to, they go, back with have, you, to go back on what you said about Pat yeah. Poose, I don't see how he did that. You know how hard that is? That's hard. Man, I probably wouldn't have made it. it I ain't going to lie to you. I, 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 I won't make it. I ain't going to make it. You I couldn't have did have, eight no, years? No, not the eight. No, I can't do the eight. I'm a freaky ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been got somebody pregnant <laughs> record breaking time. <laughs> I was like, yeah. What? Man. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> so you ain't got no loyalty to women, then? No, no, no. I love my. I got loyalty to my woman. I love her. I'm just saying, like eight years. I'm gonna tell you off the jump. Like I might not. Like listen, I'm gonna hold you down. I'm gonna hold you down. Whatever, whatever you need, I got you on that end. But it's just like when it comes to me having to. Have, I need a woman. You know what I mean? I can't have no woman. For, not have no woman for eight years. You crazy? That's selfish. You you think I could do that? I ain't doing that. I'm a man. But look, you know they had the visits, the um, consensual. Oh, the consensual visits. Oh, yeah, the consen- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, oh, that's different. See, that's different. So we I, we can make it. We probably can make it. You know they I mean? had that a little. He used to be able to go in there and they do they one, too. Right, 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 right. See, so what you think good. about that now? What you mean? You still need an everyday woman? No, that, that, that's enough. I'm, I'm straight with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm all right with that. I ain't going to lie. Okay. So you right. can do your two, three times a month. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know it ain't no every. You know it's not every day you coming in right, the prison right, to pop right. some, right? But that's only if you. Want, I, that's only in New York and Cali though. Like we, where we from, we ain't got that. You know what I mean? And the feds definitely don't got that. She she did state mm. time. You know what I mean? She did state okay. time, so it's different. Yeah. But yeah. Pepe definitely deserve his flowers. Yeah. 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 He definitely do. Um, but you want to know what they say? What? They say the nursing home is full with men that did women wrong and nobody go visit them. What you think about that? Yeah, that's crazy. My first time hearing that. That sound about accurate. You know what I mean? Think about, about it. Yeah, yeah, it do. Yeah, you're right, too. Piece of shit. You know what I'm talking about? You're right, too. Now mm-hmm. they in there shitting on themselves and lonely. All the deadbeat daddies. Yeah. All yeah. the men that did their wives wrong, they got look, nobody look, though, to watch. Even in prison, clean. even in prison, them niggas, in, they, that's happening to them in prison too. Piece of shit ass niggas, you know what I mean? They got nobody to talk to. Don't nobody want to talk to you because you did everybody wrong. You burnt all your bridges with everybody, you know what I mean? A lot of niggas in prison like that, miserable, mm-hmm. super miserable. Them niggas in there worried about everybody else, you know what I mean? Same shit. Mm. But what you just said made a lot of sense, you know what I mean? Made a lot of sense. I ain't never heard that, but it make a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing it. I seen a, you know, I seen a post and I was like, wow. And then I went to a few, you know, myself and I was able to see it with my own eyes and everything. Um before we close out, I wanted to bring something else to your attention. So another thing when y'all was shooting all the videos, you know, 
And y'all had the guns and everything in the videos. And, and you know, like, they stopped it kind of that fad now. Like, now... Like, that's prohibited. But y'all was one of the pioneers that started the real, like, drill rap, mm -hmm. showing the guns in the vehicle, I mean, in the videos mm -hmm. and the hot cars and everything like that. Do you think because y'all was some of the first ones, that's why all of that happened as well? That played, that, that played a major part in it, you know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. These motherfuckers didn't say they had guns. They said they was trafficking guns. We ain't trafficking no guns in our motherfucking life. We had so many guns that they seen... And they said we were trafficking guns. We weren't trafficking no guns. You know what I mean? That played a major part in it, though. Because when, when, like, when, when I went to court, they brought in the flash. We all in court. Mm -hmm. And they bring a flash screen in. The screen was black. Smoke kind of propped across of it in the red. And then they come up, and they got me and my cousin mm -hmm. at the top, and everybody else at the bottom. Then they start showing all the guns, the internet posters, all the stuff we were doing on the internet. And so that played a major part in our case. The internet was really brought us down, too, though. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Okay. The internet and so, DPD. And they say that now. The internet gets you messed up. They saying it now. Absolutely. But it happened to y'all back then. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It did. It definitely did. We're talking a, dec a decade ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That this happened to y'all. Yeah. So with that being said, what do you have going on now? What's to come? Uh, You know, I got the podcast coming. I got, I'm working on the podcast. I got... uh. I got yep. streaming. You know, I, I play I play video games, so I got the streaming for the video game stuff. I got an autobiography on myself, and I got a documentary on Smoke Camp. And, okay. You know, I got a shitload of music that I'm about to release. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, for the most part, and that's why I don't live in Michigan, because I want to be away from people. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want nobody to kill me. You know what I mean? I just want to provide a better lifestyle for my daughters and my wife and live my life, you know what I mean? The right way. You know what I mean? Right. Are you still talking to any of the members from Smoke Camp? Did you yeah, have yeah. any fallouts with them? Yeah, I had fallouts with a few of them, but not, it wasn't, it, it, no, I'm not going to say that. It's not a fallout that I had. One of, one of them I had a fallout with because he just went out and said some shit about me that he shouldn't have said. You know what I'm talking about? And that's, this is my man. This, I made, mm -hmm. For real, for real, I made him. You know what I mean? His name's Snoop. You know what I mean? He should have never did that. You know? <laughs> Snoop should have never did that. You know what I mean? He was out of pocket. You know what I mean? You, went, you up in there in your feelings just saying anything. You know what I mean? And I know how he is. He did this on, on the first case. With him and my brother in them, you know what I mean? When he said shit about niggas and the shit when he didn't need to check out. And on some real shit, I wanted to whoop him for that, but I ain't do it because that's my little man, you know what I mean? And I'm still not about to get on here and bash him. I'm not free that nigga, you know what I mean? But I gotta talk to him. You know what I mean? I've been telling niggas to tell the nigga to call me, you know what I mean? But he out of pocket. He the one who did that. He started that shit. He been up in them motherfucking uh them fed counties and shit saying shit. You know what I mean? Because I don't wanna talk to him. I don't wanna talk to you, nigga. What I need to talk to you for? You the reason I'm indicted, nigga. You did that dumb right. ass shit. I don't wanna talk to you. You know what I mean? I love you, but I don't wanna talk to you. Right. And I held him down on the first bid, you know what I mean? Right. Real shit, I held the nigga down. He know that, but we ain't right. got to get into that. You feel me? Right. So, so that goes back to that saying, a lot of people burnt their bridges in jail. They in there miserable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I feel bad for Snoop because Snoop never got out of prison. He went, he, we, on the first case with him, my brother, and Luch, with him, Luch, and C's, they caught the case in Morgantown. He was in the halfway house when the feds got us. The feds got him out the halfway house. That's like how I'm in the halfway house now. And they come get me in and put me on an indictment. He never got out and he got all that time. You see what I'm saying? So I can understand why he feel the way he feel, but fuck all these outside niggas, man. Come holler at me, man. You need to come talk to your people. Fuck them niggas. Them right. niggas ain't doing nothing for us. Because right now, when, even if a nigga, the niggas that putting shit on my name, like when I show you niggas that, if I show a nigga right now, I'm good. Where, where we go from there? I bust your head, I, I blow your head off because you put you stand, you see what I'm saying? Where we go from there? I ain't gonna be cool with you. Right. So get the fuck on. There ain't even no reason for me to try to prove none of you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Because you you, you went off something by just word of mouth. You ain't see nothing. You see what I'm saying? I ain't trying to talk to y'all niggas. Fuck y'all niggas. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. And it's easier to see your paperwork versus everybody else's. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't no ain't no question. You know what I mean? But like I told you, my, my members, the niggas that my, my people, they know what's going on, man. All my people know what's up. You know what I mean? That's the only thing that matters. You know right. what I mean? These niggas I'm rolling with. I ain't rolling with y'all niggas. Fuck y'all niggas. Right. And then so they, after and they that, whispered. so you guys got the documentary coming. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. 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 Got the documentary coming. Got the documentary coming. And you got the autobiography on your life coming as well. Mm -hmm. And when can we be expecting any new music? As soon as I get out of this damn the situation I'm in right now, like, as soon as I as soon, I'm like, as soon as I get out, I'm gone. I got the I got the music. I just gotta get out of here. You know what I mean? I got the music. Feel me? Okay, cause soon as the city found out you was free, you set the city up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. was posting. Everybody was showing you out. How did that love feel for you? Fake. <laughs> Which one mm. we lie? 
Yeah, fake. I, what the fuck y'all was ever yes. doing that time? It's fake love. It's, you know, it's fake. <laughs> now, now, however, shout out to uh, Helliver, Helliver and K Free. You know, they they not not only did they show love, they hit my hand. I ain't asked them to do that. They hit my hand. You know what I mean? Those those some good dudes. Oh, you know that what I mean? Good. And you got a lot of OGs. What about Chief Keith? Have you heard from him? Yeah, yeah, that's my man. I always hear from him. You know, you know, he got a, he he got a lot of stuff going on. So I don't really be, or I don't be on him like that. But you know, I talked to him when I was in prison and when I got out. You know what I mean? I can call him right now. That's my man. You know what I mean? That's my boy. But I don't really be asking him for stuff and stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's ain't, that ain't even my style. Okay, so Hellavan K Free. That's that's dope. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, shout out to Helly and K Free, man. Cause that don't happen often. No, it don't. It don't. You know what I mean? But I, I I just feel like the love was fake, to answer your question. Uh-huh. That, that, that was fake love, man. Y'all don't fuck with me, man. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You know, y'all like my music, but y'all don't really fuck with me for real. Y'all niggas don't give a fuck about me. A lot of niggas is happy to mm-hmm. happen to me, man. You know what I mean? That's why niggas so quick to throw shit on my name, because mm-hmm. they want to make me look bad, because I'm, I'm one of the niggas who really look, I really like that through that motherfucker. You feel me? I'm one of the niggas who authentic, who ain't fake. Right. You know what I mean? A nigga want me to look bad. Right. It's all but good, we though. know that's cleared up now. We glad you home. We looking forward to everything you got coming in the future. And thank you so much for coming on Mogul State of Mind. Keeping your word with me oh, and yeah, coming no. through in your story, your journey. You can come back anytime. You're welcome. Thank you so much, okay? Oh, yeah, no problem. I, I appreciate y'all, though. And I'm a fan of, y- of y'all work. I like y'all content. I'm checking it out. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> for real. I'll check it out. Appreciate y'all.